I was just been asking guys about the memories from 2018, um, especially physically. What was it like that day <clears throat> against that Michigan defense? And, and maybe how far have you guys come physically since then? Yeah, we've we've come a long ways. Uh, that was obviously early in uh, a lot of things here at Nebraska with this whole frost era. Um, they 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 handed it to us that day. That's one of the only couple games that I've when I've been here that truly felt like they were the more physical team. They they beat us that day. Um, um, but you're exactly right. They're they they were, they were a really good football team at that time, and we were young. Um, but there's a lot of things. Um, that we learned from that game, and there's a lot of things we've learned since to be able to become the team that we are now. Um, so hopefully um, it'll be really a game this, this time. What can you maybe put your finger on where you guys have really come a long way since then is just being stronger, bigger, um, faster? I don't know. what. How have you maybe closed that gap since then? Yeah, uh, just the overall understanding of what we're trying to get accomplished um, as an offense, as a team. Um, that that's come a long ways. I mean, it's hard to push that vision across uh, when the new coaching staff gets here, um, very first year. It's just it's just kind of more baseline trying to get an understanding of what you need to get done as a as an ind individual position group. Um, so now it's kind of a big big picture, uh, big vision. That's where it's come a long way um, in that regard. How much have you seen guys kind of embrace that triple option? You know, piece of the puzzle and. How much better have you guys gotten at that blocking and every everything involved? Yeah, it's 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 a lethal offense when you execute it. It really spreads the field. Um, it really opens up our playbook too. I mean, you can a lot of run, run a lot of things off of it, um, but people are starting to really um, love it just because they they've seen what it can do in practice. They've seen what it can do versus a, versus a Big Ten opponent. So um, it's something that we're just going to keep harping on. It's going to. Um, open up, like I said, it's going to open up a lot of other things too. We can't just live and die on it. I mean, it, it's obviously worked really well for us. Um, but that's that's not something we can um, just run every time, you know. Like it's just it's a it's a big part of our offense, and um, it's worked so far. So, you guys seem pretty impressed with uh, how Teddy and Nuri handled themselves uh, Saturday. Did, did you kind of see that they had that mindset throughout the off season that if they got plugged in there, they could they could do it like that? Yeah, I, I I was very impressed with how they came in and played. Um, I mean, I was I'm I was I mean I'm gonna be honest, I was kind of skeptical just because there's a new line, you know. Like there's a lot of times you don't get those game reps with those guys, so you never know how it's gonna work out. But I think they stepped in there and did awesome. Um, it was kind of kind of weird, to, not with Ben Hart in there because you look over. That's Ben Hart's one of the only guys I gotta look up to to talk to, and it was kind of weird talking to Teddy. He's like, oh, you're even taller, so. Um, they did great things. Um, it was, it was something that I shouldn't say I was skeptical. They 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 were really good football players, and they, even in, in fall camp, I was comfortable with them doing any in, anything in our offense. Um, Nuri's come a long ways. I mean, he's played as he played as a true freshman at Colorado State, so he's had a little bit of experience. Um, and Teddy's got experience with Oklahoma, being a being a tight end, I guess you could call it. Um, but they they stepped in there and did really good things, and I'm I'm proud of those guys. Is that the best you guys edge blocked? How big is it when you guys hit that one key block on the edge to spring some of those runs? Yeah, I mean, the front line, I think, did a great job of getting the play started. But that how plays turn into big plays is how well you can block downfield and at the receiver and tight end and um, position. And I think our guys did awesome. Um, I, Frost always tells us you can really dictate how good a team is by how well the receivers block. I mean, because those, those are the, the, the blocks that spring plays for, for 80. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of how those guys um, went out and blocked because, I mean, when, they, when, when you're setting those harder blocks on the outside and you're running plays for 80, that's really got to <clears throat> open up the game in the future because, I mean, those guys are going to have to trigger to the run game harder and that's going to open up some, you know, slips past them and, um, and really the deep game. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm happy with the way we blocked downfield and obviously we've had, we had really big plays on Saturday um, and those are going to be um, – key for this weekend. I mean, we need to have big plays to beat a, beat a team like Michigan, because Michigan's, I mean, they're really disciplined. They're a really good football team. What's the psychological challenge now of, of moving, keeping this thing going, not getting maybe too high on the performance um, and starting to build something up? Yeah, I think that's my biggest stress to the team this week. I mean, yeah, we um, we kicked the crap out of a, a Big Ten West team. Um, but so what now? It's in the past. I mean, that's we won that game. Um, click the reset button again. Let's win this, let's win this game. Uh, Frost kind of alluded, alluded to something today that I 
I really liked. And he said, we got three two week seasons left. We got two weeks till a bye week, and then we got two weeks till another bye week, and two weeks. And then what are we going to do to win these two games this week before we get to a bye week? Um, that's kind of how I'm going to approach it. Um, but the biggest task at hand is this weekend. I mean, that's the Big Ten championship for me this weekend. This weekend, and that's how I'm going to treat it. And then the Big Ten championship is going to be next weekend versus, versus Minnesota. That's how I'm going to approach that. But um, there's a lot of stuff to be learned. There's a lot of stuff to be happy about on what happened on Saturday, but you can't lean on that. I mean, we, our attention to detail has got to pick up that much more with a team like Michigan. You guys have had a lot more sort of field flipping type plays this year than, than the past couple. I mean, they haven't scored a ton of points until last week, but have you seen signs of that that explosive offense coming along a little bit? Yeah, it's, it's always been kind of in the works. Um, there's always kind of been a thing where there's – one guy not executing um, on the edge that would spring a block or spring a play for 80 yards. And um, I think Saturday was one of the first times that all across the board we were just executing uh, as, as an entire offense. And um, it was cool to see what can actually happen when you get all 11 guys doing the same job. Um, but it's, it's, it's always been something that's in our playbook. I mean, we can spread the field. Um, I mean, we, we, can, we can run it down right up the middle. If we, I mean, we got that in the offense too. I mean, we we got to get to that. So, I mean, um, there's a lot of stuff in our playbook that you know we really haven't had to scratch the surface yet. I mean, there's there's stuff that we can um, do. Frost is a is a genius in the playbook, um, so it's um, there's a lot of stuff we can really get to. But 